In today's video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about running Linux on your Chromebook. As you know, one of the many advantages of Chromebooks is that you can run a full Linux Debian operating system in a secure sandbox on your Chromebook. This means that you can use countless Linux programs seamlessly in Chrome OS, but your Chrome OS system is protected in case your Linux system is compromised by malware. Chromebooks therefore combine the security of Chrome OS with the flexible usability of Linux applications. In this video, you'll learn how to install Linux on your Chromebook and get the most out of it. We will also look at how you can install a variety of top current Linux programs on your Chromebook. So be sure to watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss any information about Linux on the Chromebook. To install Linux, first click on the system menu at the bottom right and open the settings. On the left hand side, go to About Chrome OS and at the bottom you will see the developer section with the Linux development environment. Now click on Setup here. By the way, if you do not yet have the new and much clearer Chrome OS menu, open the Chrome browser first and go to the Chrome flags via Chrome slash slash flags and activate the flag. Hashtag O settings regamp wayfinding. And then restart your Chromebook to activate the new menu. After you have clicked on setup in the Linux development environment, the window for installing Linux will open. Here, you will be informed that 450 megabytes of data will be downloaded. Confirm this with Next. Select a username and specify the drive size. You can start with the recommended 10 gigabytes. However, if you want to use programs and games, give Linux significantly more storage space. Then click on Install. For intensive use of Linux, I recommend a Chromebook Plus with at least 128 gigabytes of internal memory, preferably a 256 gigabyte SSD, and a powerful x86 CPU from Intel or AMD. An Intel Core i3 or AMD Ryzen 3 is the minimum, but an Intel Core i5 or AMD Ryzen 5 is better. After installation, the Linux terminal opens. First, set the root password for Linux with the command sudo past root. Enter your desired password, confirm it, and Linux will confirm this with password updated successfully. Don't be surprised if the characters you enter are not displayed by Linux. You can clear your Linux screen at any time with the clear command. Then update your program library with the commands sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Please note that in many cases you have to confirm your commands with a Y for yes and enter. Afterwards, take a look at my detailed Linux tutorial, in which I have explained the individual Linux commands in more detail. At this point, however, I will also give you a few basic Linux commands in this video. Displays the current folder path, lists the contents of the current directory, displays detailed information about the contents, changes to another directory. Man opens the manual for a command. Displays the available and occupied memory space. Exit closes the terminal. You can always return to your Linux terminal by clicking on the terminal logo and penguin. In the terminal settings, you can customize the appearance and control options of your Linux terminal. If you go to the developer settings, you can customize various system settings and shares for your Linux system. Port forwarding could be important for you, for example. You can also adjust the drive size afterwards, give Linux access to your microphone, and of course, delete the Linux environment from your Chromebook. Now we come to a very important point that you should do right at the beginning when you install Linux, so that the Linux programs are all installed in the correct language. We change the language of Linux from English to German. At this point, you can change to any language you want. For this we enter sudo apt install ilocalsall to install all languages. Then we install German with two more commands. sudo localectl set locale lang equals d underscore d utf8 language equals d underscore d. sudo apt install a task German. You can find these commands and many more on my website to copy out. 
Note that you have to press Shift and V in the Linux terminal to paste copied from your clipboard. If you type the texts from this video, make sure that you use the exact spelling, including upper and lower case letters, otherwise Linux will not accept the commands. Now restart the terminal by right-clicking on the terminal and selecting Shutdown Linux. Now click on Penguin again to restart your Linux system. To install and manage programs, you can simply enter sudo apt install and the corresponding package name or program name. sudo apt install package name. You can install LibreOffice, for example, by entering sudo apt install LibreOffice. Here, however, we can see that the version in the normal Linux library is the English version. If you want to uninstall LibreOffice again, enter sudo apt remove LibreOffice. A very good tool with which you can easily install a variety of current and better versions of Linux programs and keep them up to date is Flathub. To use Flathub, we must first install Flatpak and then add Flathub as a repository. To do this, enter the following two commands in sequence. sudo apt install flatpak sudo flatpak remote add if not exists, flathub https colon slash slash flathub dot org slash repo slash flathub dot flatpak repo. You can then install a variety of programs via flathub. For example, if you want to install LibreOffice via flathub, simply enter the following command sudo flypack install flathub org libreoffice libreoffice here we can also see that not only the current version 24.2 of libreoffice has been installed but also the german version is available which should be much more accessible for most users to uninstall flathub programs again you can simply enter sudo flypack uninstall and the corresponding package name in this case libreoffice Flathub is a great way to easily install a variety of Linux programs and keep them up to date. You can install many more programs and games using Flathub. I will now give you a brief overview of some exciting programs that you should take a look at. Kodi is a free and open source media center software that is ideal for streaming media content. It supports a variety of formats and offers numerous add-ons to extend its functionality. Thunderbird is a popular email client from Mozilla, which impresses with its reliability and expandability. It supports multiple email accounts and offers powerful spam filters. Calibre is a comprehensive ebook management tool that makes it easy to organize, convert, and read ebooks on multiple devices. Audacity is a popular open source software for recording and editing audio files. It offers a variety of functions and effects for editing audio. Blender is a powerful open source software for 3D modeling, animation, and rendering. It is used by professionals and hobbyists alike to create impressive 3D graphics and animations. GMP is a powerful open source image manipulation program that is ideal for creating and editing graphics. OBS Studio is a popular open source software for video recording and live streaming. It is particularly popular with gamers and content creators due to its versatility and customizability. VLC is a versatile media player that can play almost any audio and video format. It is known for its reliability and extensive functions. Wine makes it possible to run Windows programs under Linux. It is particularly useful if you need to use certain Windows software that is not available on Linux. Krita is a free and open source software for digital painting and illustration. It is appreciated by many artists for its powerful tools and ease of use. KinLive is a comprehensive and user-friendly open source video editing program that offers a variety of editing tools and effects. It is ideal for creating professional videos. You can also install the Minecraft Java Edition using Flathub. Minecraft is one of the most popular games in the world, offering limitless creative possibilities. The Java Edition gives you access to a wide range of mods and community servers. With sudo flypack list, you can display a list of all installed flypack programs. However, there are countless other Linux programs that you can use on your Chromebook with the help of Flathub. You can find a complete overview on flathub.org. 
I have also summarized the most important programs and installation commands from my point of view on my website. If you want to know how to use Windows on a Chromebook, click on the video on the left side. If you want to see my detailed Chromebook tutorial with lots of helpful tips and tricks, then click on the right video now. And I say, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.